Oh, is it official? Mm. Not it's yet. Official, oh, it is official. That's official. It's done. I don't know. Congratulations. I'm just, I'm just I don't know what's going on. You just bought a hundred thousand dollar Mustang. I just keep writing on paper. That's all. <laughs> So 500, he said $578,000. This is on its way to South Korea. I'm gonna try to get inside of the car, see if they'd open it for me, they won't. So we can get the interior. Very cool. Definitely gotta, <laughs> definitely gotta put this on video. So on the old Mustangs, if you get the GPS and all this stuff, it's just like this little bubble, like on mine. But this is like a true like shark fin there. I'd never That's noticed that before. Right, it's definitely a shark fin. Kind of cool. I, I think it's kind of cool, but we'll just say it's for arrow. It's you know. yeah, maybe that's part of the the almost twenty thousand dollar option. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's it's definitely different. I'd never noticed that before. All right, first drive. Get everything set up. Ooh, look at that! Got all the wrappers and stuff on it. It's like a big Christmas present. Right. This is gonna be our first drive. I've been in five hundred. This is his new car. This is truly his first drive, minus the gas station. In the 2020 GT500, let's go. Everybody that gets near me, I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> well, this this car does cost two thirds the cost of my house. The value of my house. It's crazy. This is my house. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> All right, guys, first drive minus a little trip to the gas station real quick. That don't count. No. I haven't even like even given a smidge of gas yet. Yeah, you have not gotten to play yet. There's a lot of performance here. So all my viewers out there, you remember some time ago, we got to go, both of us, hang out with Stang Mode, Tunnel Chaser, see the unveiling of this car. It almost seems like an eternity It ago. does, but time flies now. He's bought one, Stang Mode's got his, and uh, been making content with him. Man, here. Yeah. yeah. Custom order, he's been waiting on this for a long time. It's almost like a manual when you get on the gas. It doesn't like it doesn't just roll off the brake. Right. That's <laughs> fast. Got that little pop. Yep. That's one of my favorite things. That little yeah, that bark in between. That's awesome. I don't know where I am around here. Which way can I go? Well, if we go, if we go there, there's that's right, one where it's going right. to be. Yeah, we can go there, and there's a highway. We can go up the highway too. It's gonna be loaded with traffic, but it's all right. It's crazy how much shit. It's awesome. It's really crazy how quick it downshifts too. It's, it's fast. Like it's instant. Yeah. <laughs> Good, good. That's where, that's where it should live. Holy, oh, holy <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Intake tune, pulley, E85. It's like 900 wheel horsepower to these cars all day long. Proven over and over again. It's so silly to give these things crazy power. <laughs> yeah, you can't do 
that in a 10 R80. No. You'd be bucking all over like. <laughs> like the first time you ever learned how to drive a manual. Yeah. <laughs> Just rep. Yeah, one of the tire pressure isn't working. Already broken? Already broken. Dang, Ford thumbnail. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it's very premium in here. So it's very S550, but the center console is very different. I so like not, this because I can actually fit my phone there. Yeah, now. the phone, cell phones are getting bigger, and it's a good move. Good, good on Ford to actually do that. So feel, soft, it's got okay, a little feel to it. I like it. I, I do. Love the carbon fiber. It's going to be nuts. This thing, especially because you're going to drag race and road course this car. Yeah. So. It sounds a lot different than I thought it did, like, through videos. It's Yeah, it's quieter, but it sounds good. It doesn't good. sound anything like a 350. I thought it sounded like a lot like one through video. Right. And it's nowhere near as loud. I right. Just, I just can't get over that. I thought it was going to be a lot louder. But this car does need exhaust, whereas, like, the 350 does not need exhaust at all. I mean, I would even think, like, especially the R. putting exhaust on, it's a waste of time. Like, it's not going to sound any different. Right. Or any better, I should say. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. Can we get on the highway real quick? Yeah, here? so, right lane, and then we'll merge right. I'm not going to touch it. This is your present. You got to open <laughs> it all This is kind of annoying me, like, right here. <laughs> oh, now I really... <laughs> No, you got to take it off. Push up. the R, how's it's a the lot steering? Different. The steering, it doesn't tram line like the R does, which I know for a yeah. lot of people that's kind of like a point of complaint. Yeah. On this car? On the R. Oh, on the R. The tram line and like the way it just grabs and just, you know, pulls you around if you get like ruts in the road. You talking about people complain about that? Yeah. I, I like it. I like, as I was going to say, I've actually always liked that feeling. It's yeah. Just, it's, it's like a, a feeling of grip, you know? A grip and connectivity, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. I mean, this the R was, doesn't seem the tram line as bad as the R. This is more, I guess, maybe more street friendly. It definitely seems more docile. Yeah. Stupid fast in a straight line, but it'll freaking dice it up on a track. To me, and I said this before, especially the DCT, it, it sounds great. Dude, I can't get over that. It's, as far as Mustang goes, it really is kind of the perfect daily driver. But you, you can do everything in this car. I mean, straight line race it, track it, live with it. It needs exhaust. It does need exhaust. The one thing I will say right off the bat about the 350, my first impressions. Yeah. My first impression of that car, and still to this day, was it needs nothing. The 350R needs nothing. Like, right off the showroom floor, it is just, it sounds awesome. And it's just it, that car does not need any modifications. Right off the bat, I can tell you this car needs exhaust. Time to mod. <laughs> I guess he's gonna have video content coming up. There you go. Yeah, we're gonna need an exhaust. Surf it. First mods YouTube already. channel. First mods. There you go. Burble tune. You know, everybody it's cool, hates it's cool. the burble tune. I know. It's like, but off, you know dude. what? But everybody loves the cam tune. Right. It's like, come on, chop, chop, it's, it's, it's fake. It's the same thing, and yeah, that's really yeah. fake. At least the burble's like. Drop your comments down below. <laughs> Let's discuss Cam Tune versus Burble Tune. Let's go. <laughs> Let all the haters come in. That's what it is. People just want to spoil everybody's fun. If you're like enjoying yourself too much, the fun police come out, right? Yeah. Everybody, I mean, it's 2020. Everybody's offended these days, you know, or you shouldn't do this. Everybody tries to govern everybody else's decision. Yeah. And, you know, that applies when somebody else is making your car payment. 
unless that's happening, your opinions, well, I will cut that out of the video. <laughs> that's going to offend someone. much for a break in. <laughs> it's a very powerful car, 760 horsepower. It's and they got make, a um, low down grunt, which yeah. typically Mustangs are never known for, so that makes it, right. that's definitely a welcome welcome thing. Welcome change, yeah. For me, the only two things I would say that I definitely, not not upset about, but just you know a little underwhelmed is the blower line and the exhaust now. Like, I definitely thought it was a little louder, kind of like the 350. Okay. It's got bad grip too. Yeah, we're here. When's our next track day? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. This is gonna be a fun ride home. <laughs> it will be. We'll take care of this thing, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Just saw, yeah, a little bit of shenanigans on a brand new 2020 GT500. Lots more to come, though. Lots more to come. I guarantee you that. Check out his channel. I'll um, be back. Yep. And then, so, also, we're going to get my car versus his eventually. Uh, we're going to collab it up and do some things. And uh, we'll see how it's twin turbo Mustang. Well, we know what's going to happen at first, but hopefully you guys, you know, well, we'll show you. Well, the last time I raced you, you treated the shit out of me, so. That's true. You never know what's really going to happen. I'm a terrible but... drag racer. I have a fast car, but I can't drive it making fun of myself so i was just looking for the e-brake handle that's not there oh that's right it's <laughs> electronic yeah now this is cool too so i don't even know how to work that put it back into let me show you before we end the video so put it back into drive if i was to like open the door so oh turn it off oh yeah look at that so you don't even have to worry about putting that's it in pretty park. cool huh yeah all righty that's going to be the video for me check out service tanks his youtube channel more content sounds like he's already got some mods lined up and as soon as we get the opportunity we're going to get our cars lined up together bring you guys some more content so all righty i'll see you guys in the next video be safe take care have a great day later